We're not exactly traveling Asia anymore. Uh, Laura and I are both working now, so Laura is at her job this morning and I'm now heading to mine, so I need to get on a bus just for like two stops to get a bit closer and then I'll be there. So come to work with me. Just had my lunch break and now it's back to the grind. Welcome to my new life. All right, just got home from a relatively long day of work. Not that long. My days are like nine hours, maybe a bit longer sometimes. But uh, it's actually gonna get even busier for me. I haven't explained what my job is, but uh, I'm an accountant. So I know I might not come across as an accountant, but it's basically a means to an end. I'm gonna get my CPA, Chartered Professional Accountant, and that's gonna take me like two and a half years to get that done. And then from there, I'm gonna start my own business. And I don't know what that business will be, but I will find one and I will make one. And then one day I will be able to travel and make money for my laptop. That is my goal. I'm going to be getting really busy in about a month. Uh, right now I'm just working, so I work nine hours, I come home. I work Monday to Friday, not, no weekends at the moment. But in about a month's time, I'll be working during busy season. And busy season means I'll be working like anywhere from six days a week to... Well, no, pretty much, I don't think you'll work seven days a week, but you have to do 50 hours of work hours. So that means that doesn't include lunch. That doesn't include commute time. Uh, and so basically you end up working like, you know, maybe getting to work at eight, leaving at seven and doing that Monday to Friday, sometimes coming in on Saturday. So it's gonna be really busy, but that's not even why I'm gonna be busy. I'm also gonna be starting um, my CPA courses. So to get my degree that I'm going through for right now, I not only have to work, uh, lots of hours. I also have to write exams. Basically, I'm going to have to come home from work and start studying after working like a 10 hour work day. So it's going to be pretty hectic. Um, definitely, like I said, I'm not traveling anymore. I'm taking a bit of a break from that, but I'll definitely be traveling as soon as I can. And Laura and I are applying for the Amazing Race Canada. So that's my thing to look forward to right now. My next travel, I, I really hope we get on the show and I think we have a good chance. Practicing my culinary arts and I'm making some tortellini. I'm probably the worst cook around. Um, that's why, honestly, I love Southeast Asia because I can buy my meals every single day for every meal. It was like $2 to $5 per meal. So it didn't even make sense to make your own food. I love that. I wish I could do that in Vancouver, but Vancouver is expensive. I think it's probably about $10 minimum to get like a very basic meal here in Vancouver so it's not really an option not to mention it's not super healthy so it's good to make your own food once in a while not that this will be that healthy I can't tell you how much I've been thinking about like the idea of just like moving to, to Bangkok I absolutely loved Bangkok Laura and I both loved Bangkok like I never thought it'd be a city where I could see myself permanently but it actually is and I keep thinking like how tempting it is to just like drop everything here and like, you know, for, for $400 a month, I could be renting the place I was at in Thailand. Here I'm paying $1,600 a month. So basically a ton of my paycheck is going towards just paying rent and just kind of getting by. So not a whole lot of money is being saved up by me living here, unfortunately. I mean, I'm saving some money for sure, but not a ton. So that's obviously kind of a drag, but, uh, the reason I'm, you know, in Vancouver and the reason I'm doing my job is for long run reasons. I'm definitely investing in my future by doing this job, so it'll it'll be good. It'll pay off eventually. But like I said, I am missing Bangkok and that, you know, that fantasy where you like run off and just do what you want. Well, for me right now, the thought of run, like going to Bangkok and just moving back into Nancy residence and just traveling like uh also pretty cool, tomorrow I will be going to the Vancouver Canucks game. So uh, in Canada, hockey is really big and the league is called the NHL, the National Hockey League. And tomorrow, I actually, I don't even know who the Canucks are playing. Canucks are the Vancouver team. And, uh, but it's really, really fun. So I'll bring you guys with. All right, it is all said and done, totally. That's as good as I'll ever cook. And I accept that. Just got off the bus, walking to work now. And my bus driver was so nice. Like, it's so funny how such small things make a big difference, but he just, like, picked up my mood. I'm feeling pretty tired right now. But his kindness will get me through the day. Chicken. Make, make it, uh... So we have just arrived here at the next game where we are playing the Pittsburgh Penguins.
night was awesome. My dad and I went and got some drinks and some nachos and pizza after the game. And now it's a new morning. I'm off to work and I'm a bit late, so I gotta go. I pretty much almost dislocated my shoulder this morning trying to get this on. These are all custom made suits and jackets and I've put on weight since getting home, like muscle, which isn't bad, but it's bad for a custom suit apparently because I can hardly fit in them. So this is my life struggle. I'll be back after work and we have a staff party tonight. I am now running off to the event, wearing 50 shades of brown. Got brown suit, brown shoes, and brown watch. I'm attempting to keep blocked. Uh, it's a beautiful Friday night, and I'm gonna go to the gym. And I never do that, but I've got nothing else to do, and I don't want to sit around here and do nothing. But first, business calls. Time to take out the garbage. Tune in next week to see if Christian successfully empties his garbage. So this is what Vancouver is like on most days. Just crap, rain, overcast. I love Vancouver, it's beautiful. And I've got all my family here, but I hate the weather here. It is just miserable. It's been raining pretty much for like three weeks straight. Like, yeah. that's a bit of an exaggeration, but there's been not, barely not any really breaks. Though. Yeah. Don't. I don't Outfit of the day. Uh, this is the homeless look by Laura Reed. We're at like a nice restaurant, not a nice restaurant, like casual kind of nice restaurant in Vancouver. And I like only brought clothes to like, that I planned on just like taking the bus. You look like you could be going to bed. Um, yeah, I would sleep in this. I was gonna head home now, and I'm gonna go back to my apartment. And my buddy's gonna be coming over pretty soon. I don't want to leave him. Yeah, but she's leaving. I think he wants me to leave. No. Laura and I have just left Earl's in Yale Town, yes. and once again, we were not impressed with their service. The waitresses are very, very slow, and they don't really care about their customers, or at least that's how they come across. Right. And so, I actually went as far as getting the manager, and I complained in a very nice way, and constructive yeah. way, because like, I love their food, and I love their restaurant, and I want to come back. all the time. So. But uh, yeah, I just let him know, and he gave us a $50 gift card, so we will come nice. back maybe in a week with a $50 gift card, and we will give we'll them another chance. We'll the service. Yeah, we'll let you know how their service has changed. Uh, don't. So after we've complained to the restaurant and called oh out the servers, no. Laura has just realized oh. she left her umbrella in the restaurant. So we're gonna go back. Oh, Thanks, gosh. Laura. You're getting it on your own. No, please no. Yeah. Please no. I'll pay you five dollars. No, like, you're on your own. I will 100% pay you five dollars. Nope. Stupid umbrella. <laughs> you're filming. Goodbye. I'll see you in two days. I'm just doing a few emails before my friends come over and I actually got an email from a bar downtown and they're having like a, a cocktail party type thing and they actually teach you how to make the drinks. So Laura and I will be going there, uh, I guess it's next week. So that's pretty cool. And even today I got invited to a fashion show uh, in Vancouver for, I think it's a fundraiser for Africa. So pretty cool. Uh, Laura and I may be going, we'll see. But we're definitely going to the cocktail party. That'll be really cool. Looking for new music. If you have any music you recommend, comment below because I need new music. Oh my god, we haven't done that yet. I was thinking we should do that. Can I go back? Can I not do this? No, you're going to bounce back. I can't. Go to Nova. I'm gonna count down three, two, one, and whoever has it on has to keep it on the whole night. One, two, three! Oh. <laughs> 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 I was so scared. <laughs> My friends are really weird, but you know what? We're gonna go out, we're gonna have a really good time, and I'm gonna leave my GoPro here, because otherwise I will lose it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the end of my night. I'll see you guys in the morning. My house is a total mess.
Now that I live in Vancouver, I'm going to try to find myself a good church. Uh, when I was back home, I was going to the Village Church. It's called The Village. And it's actually, like, the best church I've ever been to. I actually was, like, excited to go to churches in, on Sundays instead of, like, uh, dreading it. But um, now that I've moved, I've got to find myself one down here. And so I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be checking out Westside Church. And, yeah, my battery on my GoPro is pretty much dead, and I don't have any charge ones, so I'm going to have to leave you here, but I'll let you know how it goes. It was actually really good, so I'm super excited that I've already found myself a good church here downtown. And it's called Westside Church. If anyone's in the Vancouver area, definitely would recommend it based on that one time. Hi, friends. Hi. So my friends decided to hide things around my house. They put my panini maker over by the chair. They put some soap in my microwave. And I'm sure I'll find more things as I start cleaning up. I actually just met with a guy by the name of Jonathan, and I saw him in Laos. So while traveling, um, we were at this jungle party, and we were doing the tubing down the Vong Viang channel. So you bet you rent a tube for like ten dollars for the day, and you sit in it, kind of like lazy boy reclining style, and then you just drink beer, and it's it's really really fun. Um, so Jonathan was like some random dude we met in Laos. And he's super friendly, so uh, we kept in touch. And uh, yeah, he's he lives in Victoria. Victoria is the island. It's about an hour away. Ah, that's a lie. It's a, it's about a hour ferry away. It takes a while to get there. Anyways, yeah, he's just such a down to earth guy. He just puts so much into perspective, and uh, just so much positivity from him. I talking to him just makes me want to like pack up all my stuff and go traveling again. I think it'd be really good for the vlog. Comment below if I should pack my stuff and leave. Go travel. Hey. Oh, that was rebel, very rebel of you. Laura just found out she made 300 bucks. Wait, should I say that? Can I say that? Uh, I don't know. It's yeah, I'm gonna say it. No, she, she just found out she made 300 bucks for a YouTube video. She put a link to some products and I guess she got some commission on it. So that's pretty cool. Surprise commission, I didn't even know. And the government sent me a $100 check, so that's pretty cool. I love unexpected money. After pretty much three weeks of solid rain, it's finally a beautiful day. So today is a big day for Vancouver. If I take a photo, I can actually send it to Our Story Vancouver. So it's like submitted to the big Vancouver page. Because every now and then Snapchat will do a thing where they feature a city. And Vancouver is a featured city today. So I tried a different way to get to work and this was a terrible idea. There's a bunch of geese over there and geese like to crap and I've stepped in at least a couple of them with my dress shoes. Keep it 100 guys. See, so I can go to my snapchat. Our story Vancouver. Click OK. Christian 9848. Just got myself an eggnog latte with a new Christmas Starbucks cups. Pretty big deal. It's a big day here in Vancouver. With enough hard work, anyone could do anything, guys, and I finally did it. Years and years of blood, sweat, and tears. I finally was able to purchase this, this here traffic pylon. It's beautiful. What's up, bitches? Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, I'm sorry. No. Are you on a diet? You're on a diet? <laughs> Disney, your food's right there. Go eat it. <laughs> He's like, what's the big deal? I've already got my summer body. <laughs> my little boy's not happy. <laughs> Mommy, you can't cave. Disney does not own this house. You do. <laughs> oh, now you've got his interest. He's like, there's the real food. Yeah. Here, here comes something new, something new, something new, something new.